Let's compare the two. So both watches featured a unidirectional rotating bezel, as you can see here. Now, the Submariner has knurled edges for better grip versus the Omega. So both watches also feature a extension clasp here. You can see this is for use in a wetsuit. Well, this slides in and out here. The Submariner features a safety clasp where the Omega does not. As you can see here, it has a two button system release. And last but not least, the Omega features a manual helium escape valve. However, both these watches, even though this, this one does not include a helium escape valve, they reach a depth rating of 300 meters or 1,000 feet. What would you choose? Retail on this is 10,100. Retail on this is 6,500.